We need to discuss the blue line epidemic. Police officers have a hard line to walk in society today, especially when the term police officer often incites a negative reaction. Why is it that we fear them when we're not in trouble? And yet when we are in trouble, they're the first people that we call. Currently in the United States, there are just under 900,000 sworn in police officers. And by the year 2018, that number is projected to rise to almost a million. And when I think about those numbers, I don't just think about how many boots are on the ground, but are they capable, healthy, well-trained officers that can help us and protect us in our worst moments. So did you know that the fatality rate among officers is three to five times higher than any other private sector occupation in the United States? There was actually a study, a retrospective study, between the years of 1984 and 2010. And what researchers looked at was the death of over 4,500 police officers who had died while on duty. And what they found was that almost 10% of those deaths were specifically attributed to sudden cardiac death meaning that while on duty, officers suddenly drop dead of a massive cardiovascular event. And you might think that, hey, maybe these officers were too old to be able to be on active status, when their actual age or average age was only 47 years old. And of the officers in the United States that do make it to retirement at 55, their average age of death is only 66 years old, meaning that they only get to use 11 years of a pension that they served 30 years to earn. So why is this happening? Well, in the last 15 to 25 years, physical fitness standards have kind of gone by the wayside, meaning that officers are no longer required to maintain a certain level of physical fitness to stay in active status. Not to mention that officers face the same issues that we in society face, including obesity, physical inactivity, poor sleep, poor diet, and the struggle of work-family balance. So with that being said, every single day that officers put on their badge and their uniform, they're faced with potentially life-threatening situations, all the while society has them pinned underneath the microscope, just waiting for somebody to cross the line. So how can we fix this? How can we ensure that our officers are better trained, both physically and mentally, to be able to handle the stressors of the job? How can we ensure that they're better trained to handle our worst moments? Well, my research is hopefully going to be looking at the physical, psychological, and physiological implications that our officers face so that we can start to turn those flat lines into longer lives. Thank you.